it's a it's an object. It is usually used for objects. Okay? So, for example, it is a car. It is a garden. You could say the Volkswagen is a car if you knew the name of it as well. But you replace it with it because it's easier and also you might not know the name of the car. You could say the grass with all the flowers is a garden or you could replace that with it is a garden. It is a city. All the tall buildings with all the cars is a city. Or, and you can replace it with it is a city. So it is an object pronoun, subject pronoun. Taking the place of a noun, that's what the subject pronouns do. You take a noun and replace it with a subject pronoun, generally. Subject pronouns. I am reading a book. And here we go, we replace it with the subject pronoun. It is a good book. I am reading some books. Some books is plural. They are good. They takes the place of some books. John works for a big company. He, which takes the place of John, is a manager. John and I, so it's more than one, work for a big company. We are the managers. So we is plural. Takes the place of John and I. Review. Singular. For the subject, I, you, he, she, and it. Okay? So those are all the options you have for a singular sub subject pro pronoun. For plural, you have we, you, and they. Okay? We go to the beach. You live in a house. You could be more than one. You live in a house. They speak in Italian. Singular, I play tennis. You like swimming. He drinks milk. She wakes up early. It has a tail. All of these, it, she, he, you, and I, we, you, and they are all the subject of the sentence. So here's just the example of the ones that you have for singular and plural. Again, singular means one item. Plural means one, more than one. Two, three, four, five, and on. Okay? The singular is one. The plural is more than one. Here's some examples. Um, you can practice your masculine singular subject pronouns, okay? So I would like you to take a minute and see which ones you would put in for this, okay? The answer is all the same. They're all he. This is John. He is 15. He is from France. He speaks French. He likes chocolate. John likes football, and he also likes baseball. He likes to eat fruit. Okay? So for John, if you're going to replace a masculine uh, subject, it's always he if it's one person. And this is feminine singular subject pronouns. This is Jane. Again, I'd like you to read all these sentences and put in the um, feminine singular subject pronoun that is to go in here. I'll give you a few minutes. <laughs> Okay, so this is Jane. She is 24. She is a doctor. She works in a hospital. She loves pizza. Jane enjoys basketball, but she doesn't like tennis. She lives in Chicago. So again, you're using she every time to replace Jane. Because if you look, because Jane is 24. Jane is a doctor. Jane works in a hospital. Jane loves pizza. Jane enjoys basketball, but Jane doesn't like tennis. Jane lives in Chicago. So they're interchangeable. And they're the subject of the sentence.